The two main types of asymptotes you're going to be working with in this class are vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So what I'm going to tell you here is how you can figure those out algebraically. So let's start with vertical asymptotes, BA. So a vertical asymptote is whenever you have a function and you're dividing by zero um, and you can't cancel that out algebraically in any way. So for example, the easiest one to do is if you have the function f of x equals 1 over x. This has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. Because if you plug in 0 for x, you would be dividing by 0, and the numerator is not also 0. That tells you that's a vertical asymptote. Um, but, for example, if you had the problem squared minus 1 over x plus 1. You might think you have a vertical asymptote at negative 1, but you should always try to simplify first. The top factors is the difference of two squares. Those cancel out, and now you actually don't have anything on the denominator, so that function does not have a vertical asymptote. There's a couple other functions um, that just have vertical asymptotes you're going to need to know, uh, actually just one that you're going to need to know, and that's the a natural log function. ln of x has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, and that's one that's kind of, you're just going to have to memorize or maybe memorize the graph shape, but the graphs of logs and exponentials are going to be in another video. So let's talk about horizontal asymptotes. So these are vertical asymptotes here. Horizontal asymptotes, you get by taking the infinite limit, limit as x goes to positive infinity and x goes to negative infinity of a function. So for example, if you have a function x squared plus 3 over 2x squared minus 1, to find the horizontal asymptote, you would need to take the limit as x goes to infinity and x goes to negative infinity. Now, if you have a rational function, though, so remember, a rational function is one where you have a quotient of polynomials. There's a much simpler way to do it. All you need to do is look at the degree of the top and the bottom. In this case, both of these have degree 2, so all you need to do is take the co uh, coefficients on those terms, which would be 1 divided by 2, and your horizontal asymptote here is y equals 1 half. So let's think about the other uh, conditions. So when one is that the numerator is bigger than the denominator, for example, if you had the function x squared minus 1 over x. So if the numerator has a higher degree than the denominator, we don't have a horizontal asymptote. So then our last condition is if the numerator has a smaller degree than the denominator. Say our function was this here. Then our uh, horizontal asymptote would be always at y equals 0. So if they're the same degree, you look at the coefficients on those degree terms. If the top is higher degree, you have no horizontal asymptote. And if the bottom is higher degree, you always have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. And if it's any other function that's not a ratio of polynomials, you need to just do the limit as x goes to infinity and x goes to negative infinity of f of x. Because it is possible that a function could have two horizontal asymptotes if the positive infinity and negative infinity limits uh, are different. That's how you calculate vertical and horizontal asymptotes.